morning guys hello australia and we are here now in dream world gold coast queensland australia and we are here now uh, waiting for tickets that we bought online And ayan po, nakapasok na po kami sa loob ng Dream World. And ayan po yung logo nila. And I hope we will enjoy it. Yan po, uh, medyo wala pang tao masyado ngayon kasi umaga pa lang. Yan. If you want to buy some souvenirs, uh, ito yung isa sa mga souvenir shop na dito. Yan po, very affordable price. And this is the Dream World Express. Uh, yan po, nagkante kami ng pila para sumakay. Yan, medyo maraming tao ngayon dito. Yan, siksikan. At yan guys, nakasakay na kami. Uh, yan, nagkante na kami para mandar. Uh, may nante pa siguro sa glit. Yan. Cinematic, oh. Oh, 
sa kayo tuglayin to. Putagaan kung mga 1,000 dollars. Ah, kata. Hindi ka itong paanan. Eh, salag ride man ito mukhaan. Ito sa last na lang na. Ang movie to, sa last na lang na. Masa ba? Boleh tak? No, lag ride tu. Ini nak. Ini nak tahu. Mga lalagaan, nasa ito mo, patulong? Kara mo ni Lag. Pero? And this is the motor coaster ride. And this is the only motor coaster in the world featuring the life-size replicas of 500cc racing bikes. Ah, yan. Kaya yeah, magandang, yan na yan, magandang subukan. Oh, ano, ano Oto tadi monyo ikut kumot. Jodong ke pas Facebook kan? Ikat. Cepat. Nampak kan tak? Ito ra Grabe po gawin, uliyo sa labas eh. Ayan. Uh, palamig muna konti. Salit lang. Uh, dito kami ngayon guys. Uh, Nagaantay ng show nila. Uh, mga native people dito sa Australia. Ayan. Bye. 
at uh, gusto nyo lang sumakay dyan sa big red car Babalik ka sila sa pagkabata <laughs> from Madagascar ito yung name ng ride ito uh, gusto namin subukan to kasi medyo thrill siya ayan uh, ito yung pangalawang rides namin yun This is the land of awesomeness. So DreamWorks, la yung gawa ng Kung Fu Panda movies. Yan, yan yung uh, nila, wax figure. Gusto nyo ng souvenirs, uh, ito yung souvenir shop na dito ng Tiger Island. Uh, meron sila nito mga stop toys and mga 
bridge magnet. Yan. Uh, at ito yung Tiger Island. Uh, meron silang apat na Tiger Resident dito. Ayan at uh, mukhang mahaba yung linya ngayon uh, Siguro babalik ko muna kami Fake brain yo, pugong steel o, oh, ha? O, oh, ha? Satan steel Lingin mo, Dua Tri, lingin mo O, oh. okay, hi, hi, hi Hindi, ang kailangan mag-live.
Tindau ya pun dikono, ah ya pun ini. Kamera ni mana? Ah terana. Ah nama ni kesat tebangan. Atau bang boleh entry day. Hello, hi fans. Nah, buat kamera Andre. Andre ang kamera satu bangan. Apa tolong di tu? Abi nak satu bangan di tu? Mas batau nak jis satu bangan, oh? Tuh mana aku? Oh, ini lagi. Kuyo. Dia mga buaya daghan kayo. Woo, the overflow. Oh my god. This is it. Live coverage. Kuan na imo ang cellphone ka pa pinta. Dili ni makuha ni. Minitan ra ni. ay naligo lang hindi sa inaasahan Ayan po kasi hindi namin inabot ang kahapon yung show uh, Around 12pm So andito po kami ulit ngayon sa Tiger Island Ayan. At manonood ng show Ayan. Enjoy guys We call it a sit up and it looks something like this. A deer is straight. You know what? How about this? You bear around the horse race. Some punch people needs a bit of a helping hand. Because this is a very natural behavior for the tigers. It's a trick and a stunt with Torfin. They use it out in the wild and in captivity to get to the bike advantage. The tigers, when they're out in the wild, maybe stalking prey, they're pretty hidden and elusive and remain hidden in the cover of camouflage. Sometimes they'll lose sight of that prey, so they'll just need to pop up out of that maybe long tall grass, look around, relocate where that prey is, and continue on stalking without giving away the location. And sometimes 
when they're moving through out of territory, they'll pick up on a scent mark left on a rock, a tree, an overhanging branch, and they'll go into this sit-up position, position beside that object, so they can just sit there for an extended period of time and really investigate that scent mark. Sometimes they need to stretch up just a little bit taller, and they can do that simply by getting up on the back legs into what we call a rise. I'm going to show you the rise in two different ways. Hopefully the orange cat up on the head and the shoulders. Whereas Kiko, she doesn't really trust us to hold her up, so she likes to lean up against the climbing pole there. Now when they get up in this position, I'll be getting to the out of the way set marks, but it also gives them an opportunity to break the very sharp and powerful claws down across the tree, which not only leaves a visual indicator of the tigers in the area, I will also leave their own scent mark up there because they've got scent glands in between their toes, but probably more importantly for a tiger, as they're scratching down at the tree, they'll pull off the outer layer of claws, exposing the newer, sharper claw underneath. So this rise behaviour a really important one for tigers. Now you're probably going to be better, and especially Simon over here, holding a 160 kilo tiger on his shoulder, thinking, thinking he's the strongest guy you've ever seen. That's what we would like you to think. It's not the case at all. The tigers are doing most of the work. Terima kasih atas bantuan dalam kelestarian dari waspada. Thanks very much, guys. Check out the era. Thanks for your guys. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon here at Ringo. Thanks, Al. Bagus sana, gitu. Pop, jam, 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 jam. Kita dah boleh lingkut.